got my EGT probe in there. It's probably working. <clears throat> so obviously I'm doing a bunch of uh, wiring on the gauges and stuff right here. I got my little uh, silver black box here. Uh, I hope the radio doesn't copyright this uh, video, but I guess if it does, I'll just voice over it or something. But anyway, so now I need to start working on these wires, translating them into some of these wires that go into here that will also go into the cluster and get that installed. And then I'll have gauges. I'll actually know what this thing's doing, even though I had it hooked up, had some things hooked up on the, while well, I was on the dyno, I had oil pressure and stuff like that, temperature. But, uh, now I actually have gauges in the dash, so slow progress. I know I still don't have an air filter on there, but it probably won't kill me. Hopefully, probably. Okay, I've been figuring out some wiring on this. I've got a book, but it's for an 80 through 87. This cab is a 79, even though this whole truck will look like an 85, but I've been figuring out the uh, instrument cluster cluster wiring um, and then the wiper actually will get replaced with the one that's on the stick here and in place here I've got my EGT uh, display it's just a digital display I don't know it's not uh, ideal I'd rather have an analog gauge <clears throat> easier to notice in a glance but um, this fits I, I really don't want to have a uh, gauge pod on the on the pillar here I just I'm not really into those so <clears throat> I'm trying to integrate as many gauges into the factory cluster as I can. Uh, may or may not be able to actually get what I need in there, but whoops, I already unhooked the wire. Or it unhooked itself. Don't know what that means, but <clears throat> I did just have this running, so that's its current temperature. And that's probably about right. Maybe this weekend I'll pull this thing back out onto the road and see what it does under load. Especially if I get the gauges installed. See how close my speedometer is. Because I have no idea what gears are in the transfer case that I got and what this speedometer is set up for. But it's pretty easy install. That's a divided manifold, so you got to put it in either one tube or the other. I kind of put it a little bit towards the center um, and angled a little bit, but <clears throat> it should be uh, pretty pretty close for what I'm doing. Ideally you want the, not necessarily the tip of that probe, but wherever the actual thermocouple is in there, um, which isn't always right at the tip of the probe, but you would want the tip of the, or uh, the, the sensor itself right in the middle of, of all the flow. Um, but you know, hey, this isn't a pulling truck. I'm just, I just wanna make sure I'm not gonna blow it up. So. Not a lot of progress made on this in the last month or so, but some, most of it's been inside on the gauge cluster. So once I get that installed, then I'll uh, 
get you back up to date. Holy cow, what a mess. So, I've been taking the original connector for the gauge cluster, which would plug in right over here, but it would have that stupid printed circuit board thing, which never works right. I've pulled out all the wires uh, so far, except for the fuel gauge. That's the only one that I haven't identified yet, but I've got them all <coughs> wired up to the gauges on here. Uh, what was originally the sending units for oil pressure and temperature will now be the switch for the lights, the flashing lights that are in those gauges. And I, the, my little computer box, which I mounted back here, uh, will do the, the gauges based off of different sending units than what would originally have come with this. So I still have party mode programmed on the little computer thing I'm a bob so uh, I will try to get this to stay put there and see if that turns on bolt gauge works yep and the oil and temp gauge are cycling back and forth I never did program the boost gauge to cycle back and forth so maybe I need to do that real quick so making progress slowly I should hopefully have this have all the gauges working by uh, this weekend so I can maybe take it down the road a little bit I still don't have my front suspension totally done, so I'm not going to go down the road very far, but take it down the road a little bit and let the engine get warmed up and check the temperature and uh, check the boost and the tack, make sure that that's correct. I'll use an optical tack on the crank balancer just to be sure, uh, make sure that that matches up right, otherwise I need to modify it a little bit. And fuel gauge I that's gonna be a little while before that's actually up and running so um, but yeah we'll see if the speedometer works and I probably won't go very fast but we'll see if it's accurate at all so like I said I don't know what gears are in that transfer case that I got it was originally in an international pickup so I have no idea what the speedo is set up for what the little worm gear on the tail shaft is set up for and then this speedometer I don't I don't think this is the original speedometer for this pickup but even if it were it normally comes with a ratio adapter that would call that would have been on the turbo 400 transmission so I don't know what that is but I've still got it <coughs> if I need to I can get different ratio adapters and do that or I can get probably different gears for the transfer case although I have not checked on that so <clears throat> I'll come back at you later with uh, the results of the boost gauge and everything else